morning. It's technically still morning. It's 10, 10, 10, 10 47, right? It's Sunday, November. Do we know? 24th. 24th, see? Yeah, 24th. Without Fred, what would I know? Nothing. Anyway, we're headed. I'm good for something. You're, you are good for something. So we're headed over to the grocery store this morning, and of course, we created Lily, and she started crying before we even got out the door. But, you know, what are you going to do? We can't bring her to the store with us, so. I spent the morning in a women's group chat, which was uh, really great and productive this morning. Um, it's with the my sister's fairy feng shui group. Um, and so if you want details on that and her Facebook group and where you can ask her how to join the chat and all that stuff, um, more of what the chat's about, you can, I'll link her Facebook group in the description below. You can go check her out. It's not about art. It's about um, improving oneself anyway. We are, I also spent the morning um, deleting all haul and giveaway videos here off of YouTube. My channel is not about bribing you all to watch the channel or bragging about what art supplies I may or may not have. You don't have to have specific supplies to create great art or to work through art for therapy. Um, I also don't want to bribe people to watch my channel. You either want to watch it or you don't. So all those videos are gone. Of course I saved them. I do have them in my backup, but they're all gone here off of YouTube. I think I might be delete happy, but you know, there we go. Anyway, we're gonna go get our shopping done. Then we've got some um, house things to do and I'll be back. It's Sunday evening, Fred's cooking. Fred's cooking? Fred's cooking, yeah. We're gonna just put this as part of the vlog. And I'm out of rum. He's <laughs> so he's complaining that he's almost out of rum. You're not completely out of rum. Well, there's some in left. there. There's not enough for, uh, well, I guess there's much for There's enough three. for one more. Yeah, maybe. Anyway, so we're making, we got another uh, meal kit from Fred Meyer, uh, which is part of the Kroger chain. Not sponsored, but if you want to sponsor and you're watching, let me know. Uh, <laughs> we do like their meal kits because they're easy and it's perfect for just two people. This one is the cri crispy orange chicken, which I don't think we've had yet. We haven't. Um, and sometimes we have enough for even some, uh, even have enough for uh, leftovers. Sometimes, yeah. I mean, sometimes it makes a lot of food. Yeah. There's also a lot of calories too, so. Sometimes um, we... Yeah, this one's calorie heavy. Um, Holy a... cow, this one's very calorie heavy. I won't be eating a full portion. It's 1,400 calories for one half of the kit. That's more than my daily allowance on Lose It. And I've already had breakfast and lunch. That's chicken and for you. Wow. All right. Yeah, it's crazy. Anyway, so Fred's cooking. There's not a lot for me to help with this time because I think everything's done already. He just has to assemble. Well, I gotta cook the rice. Yeah. So he's gonna do it in a pot the old fashioned way rather than use the rice cooker. I know. That's what it told you to do, so you're doing it the way it said. Anyway, so he's doing that. We already also today spent some time replacing all the smoke detectors in the house because we discovered that the old ones, uh, the date on them was 2005. And for those that don't know, smoke detectors only have a 10 year lifespan that's recommended. So yeah, that's an issue. <laughs> so we got that done and we cleaned out some closets upstairs and got the Thanksgiving grocery shopping done. So now we're gonna just cook some dinner and we still have crazy pants. Where is she? See, see the black? Where, she, she. I see the, see the black face right there, the black spot on the couch. Where is she? Right there, that's crazy pants. Huh. Yeah, she's a little nuts. And she does not like when we go out and leave her to go to the store or something. She does not like that. We went out yesterday to a concert, she was really pissed. Yeah, we went last night. Uh, if you watched last week's vlog, then you know we went to see the Trans-Siberian Orchestra, which was great, but boy, holy cow, was she pissed off. And when we got back, we couldn't get her settled down to go to bed until at way after, midnight. after midnight. And then I had to be up early this morning for a women's group Zoom conference call. And so, it, yeah, I'm a little tired. And we have to be up early again tomorrow because we have me and my bright ideas. I made morning dental appointments. I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah, you weren't. I evidently wasn't, yeah. 
Well, you got to slice up the broccoli. Broccoli. Okay. So anyway, we're gonna do this, and we'll let you know how it turns out, and we'll be back. So Fred's all done, and there you have it. Looks pretty good. We split it into three servings rather than two because, yeah, holy cow, it's a lot of calories. But it looks delicious. Good job, friend. See? Lots of calories. Lots of, yeah, a lot, of, a lot of calories. All right. We're going to have some dinner, and I'll be back tomorrow. Bye, guys. Monday morning, November 25th. It's about a quarter to 8 a.m. or so. We're on our way to a dental appointment at our new dentist. It's our first visit. I'm a little nervous. Not too much, but a little bit. Uh, I've never had a different dentist other than my old dentist, which is my uncle, my dad's younger brother, and his sons. I've always gone to, gone to Bronzini Dental in Millbrae, California, always, since I got my first tooth. So this will be my first trip to another dentist. I'm sure it'll be fine, but yeah, a little bit nervous. All right, I'll be okay, back. Okay, so the good news is I like the new dentist. The bad news is I need some work done. <laughs> um, it's not anything I didn't know about. My uncle for quite a while now has been watching a few spots in my mouth. Um, I do have a te tendency to clench and grind my teeth, which is how I cracked one of my upper molars a couple of years ago, uh, or more than that now, I think. And I had to have a root canal and have it drilled out because it got infected. Um, and I knew there were a couple other molars that were cracked he was watching. We're gonna just go ahead and rip the Band-Aid off, and Wednesday, yeah, two days from now, um, I'm getting both of them um, fixed. And then I also have a little spot near the front that they were wa also watching at, at my uncle's office um, that they thought was maybe a cavity. And we're going to go ahead, it is a cavity, and we're going to go ahead and have that filled. And he said, you know, you can come back for three visits. I said, can we just do it all at once? He said, that's like a two or three hour um, office visit. I said, if you're okay with it, I'm okay with it. I'd rather just get it done all at once. It's the day before Thanksgiving, but you know, my mouth is going to be sore. It means I won't overeat. Okay, there's always leftovers. <sighs> It's 15 minutes before 10 o'clock on Tuesday, November 26th. The ring keeps going off this morning. It's mostly just been the cats, but right now it's Bambi. Can Hang you on. see that? She's looking right at me like, what are you doing? Why are you filming me?
I think she's too hungry to care that I'm getting ready to move the car. I have this feeling. It's pretty cool that she's just standing there. I'm sure she'll run as soon as I turn the car on, so. Or make a loud noise like shutting the car door. But I gotta go, I gotta get to the hairdresser. All right, I'll be back. Hey guys, so um, as you heard from me earlier, I went to the dentist, I had some dental work done Two crowns and a cavity, to be exact. Poke, poke. But yeah, a lot of poking. My mouth is a little sore. It's not too bad. I did take a Tylenol, but I'm not taking... And it was just an over-the-counter Tylenol. It wasn't anything special. Um, I'm not going to do more than that. Um, but we want to get some steps in. I'm not feeling bad enough to just stay home and be miserable. So we're... But it's too cold out, to be honest. It's only... Well, the car dashboard well, says, it's well, it down. said 50, now it's going, it's down. going down. It went it's, down to 49. It's, uh, 45? 45 and icy outside. So we are going to actually go to the mall and go walk around the mall. I know it might be very people-y, but that's okay. Um, uh, Bob does need a couple of things, so we're going to go do that. If anything interesting happens, you know I'll bring you with me. So we'll be back. Okay, so that trip to the mall was interesting. That was interesting. And then, of course, there was the... A uh, little boy who threw up all over the floor. <laughs> uh, yeah, and his parents were trying to be very discreet about it, but nobody was helping them. So I went and got a girl from a local uh, shop and said, can you call security or something? They're having a problem. And then there was the couple that was walking around the mall. Um, he was carrying a camera, and, uh, taking pictures of her. Um, how do we describe her? Half naked? Half naked. She didn't have much on. She did have a long sweater on, I think, to kind of cover up and be discreet about what she had on underneath it, uh, which was a nude colored dress, a flesh colored dress. Pretty sure she had no underwear on. On no top, top or bottom. So yeah, that was a thing. So yeah, that was interesting. We're going to head over to the sporting goods store now to buy deer corn. Hey guys good morning it's Thanksgiving morning November 20 what is it I don't even know it's Hold November on. 28th the, uh, Thanksgiving Day here in the United States and so we have the turkey in the oven and um, it's just gonna be my husband and I and our daughter and her boyfriend uh, fiance I have to start calling him son-in-law soon anyway um, <laughs> So they're all coming over and with Lily, of course, and uh, it's gonna be a good day. I, as you know, had dental work done yesterday um, and I'm all good. I do have temporary crowns in, so I need to be careful what I eat, how I eat it um, for the next couple of weeks, but it's all good. I'm not in any pain. I took a ty uh, Tylenol yesterday uh, for some of the aching, but otherwise I didn't need anything. It is weird not being able to wear my night guard so I am having dental work done because I do clench and grind my teeth and I am I have some cracked molars and I had one repaired years ago and I knew another one was coming uh, or two I knew, I knew it was gonna happen um, but my new dentist who I totally agree with him we decided not to wait for them to be infected or have um, other issues they already were pretty cracked these particular two so I'm like let's just fix them let's just fix them so we did so it's all good. I can still eat turkey and mashed potatoes, so it's all good. My husband is downstairs, if you can hear his voice in the background, a little bit talking to his mom, and 
it's a, gonna be a good day, I think. So anyway, I hope you're all having a good day, whether you celebrate Thanksgiving or not, and you're spending it with your family, and I'll get... It's 7.22 a.m. Friday morning, the day after Thanksgiving. I didn't get a lot of any footage of the dinner yesterday. There's just too much going on. As you can hear the crunching in the background, Lily is here eating breakfast. I'm going to spend the day today putting up the Christmas tree and decorating the house for Christmas. So we'll see how that goes. All right, I'll be back. the Sleigh Bells Christmas Tree Farm. We're gonna cut down a real tree. That's not something we've done since Rebecca was little, but we're gonna give it a shot. So, let's see how this goes. The kids are gonna cut down a tree. Becca keeps saying she's gonna do it, but um, yeah, this ought to be funny. We'll be back. There, it's not gonna be cheap. We have an angel. We always put an angel. Whoever and I okay with an angel? Yeah, you want to make sure it's parallel to the ground. The view. Oh, look at the view. The view. You can, you can see Mount Hood. afternoon because I'm pretty sure it's afternoon oh yeah the clock says 12 15 um, as you can see we're getting ready for Christmas the insides pretty much done we just need to do the outside um, which we may do today we may do tomorrow but we're gonna try to do before Monday um, I think I vlogged yesterday we went and cut down the Christmas tree it's the first time in a long time we've had a Christmas tree we either haven't done this since Rebecca was a baby or more likely than not we've not done it since before we got married that was a long time ago <laughs> so anyway we're just having a quiet day at home we may go out and do some running around we don't have any particular plans but we'll see what happens and if we do anything interesting I'll bring you with me of course I will all right I'll be back It's Saturday evening. We got the outdoor decorations and lights up. Um, one of the timers I think is set wrong because those lights above the garage are not on. Where are we? There we are. So he's working on it and I'll get you all a picture of what the house looks like. Um, anyway, it's been a fun day. Cold day. 
Just, we don't have any snow, but it feels like snow weather anyway. Um, oh, there we go. They're on. Maybe just a loose connection. Anyway, he's working on it. They're going on and off. Anyway, it's been a fun week. I have some projects that um, I'm going to work on um, this coming week. YouTube apocalypse or not, I'm going to, I do have some things art wise I'm going to do. I will be sharing them on YouTube. If, if we're still all on YouTube, I'll be sharing them on Instagram, Twitter, in the appropriate Facebook groups and all of that. So follow me on one of those to keep in touch. I guess in um, case I get in Facebook jail again or something happens on YouTube other than what I expect, you might want to pick a couple of different social media platforms to follow me on. In the meantime, so we've got ornaments on the little tree. We were going to try to light it, but we just can't figure out there's no outlet out here and it's not safe to run it across the pathway. But there's the hedges and the LED lights in the window and the garage lights. That's the most that we're going to do, but it looks good, I think. We all hope you've had a great week. Follow us on social media. Um, pick one or two of them in case one of them locks me out and I get in jail again. Uh, anyway, there's some fun projects coming up for the new year. For the month of December, I'm going to be trying to finish up some watercolor jour journals. My friend Vicki Brown has been inspiring me to pick them up again, so I'm going to do that. And it is cold out here, so we're going to go inside. We hope you've had a good one. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And above all, go out and have a great day and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye, guys. Bye.